hello everyone uh welcome back to my channel uh barin here uh if you're new to my channel uh you're welcome if you uh if you've already subscribed to my channel i want to say thank you uh for coming back so in, to in today's tutorial um we'll be creating an outage in an in a change control so um Outages are never created when the change is already closed. But because I'm using the free version of uh, service now, I'm just going to walk you through on the different steps, what you need to know. But when we talk about outage, what do we really mean? Um, for every change control that you create, outage simply means that users won't be able to have access when you guys are in prod. And it's very crucial because if you don't notify them, they might not be able to know. So you need to send out a communication, right? Either through email or you guys need to have a meeting through which you guys need to communicate that. And before you present your change through CAP, the change advisory board, you also need to mention that, that there's going to be an outage. And it's always good to stipulate the duration. If you guys are doing maybe like or you guys are rebooting a server or you guys are purging the data it's very important that you state that users won't be able to assess the system during that time when you come here on this hamburger menu on your uh, service now you will discover that you have different um, different tools that you need to use here okay so for this particular tutorial, we'll be creating an outage. You have the save, you have the app visual dashboard, you create an outage, you can refresh an impact service, you have a metrics timeline, follow on live feed, edit risk calculation, disable uh, disable scheduling conflict message, configure, uh, export, view, uh, create a favorite, uh, copy URL, copy uh, SYS ID, history, and then reload form so please subscribe to my channel because i'll be breaking especially this um uh what you see under the hamburger sign here I always call it the hamburger so uh you see different different stuff are under here but in today's tutorial we'll be creating an outage like as i said what is really an outage why is it important it communicates to the stakeholders it communicates to the users that you guys are going to prod and what is prod prod is where live activity takes place so you indicate that there's gonna be an outage and it's gonna be for this time for example if you come here this is already the outage number okay you see uh out it gives you that number it's automatically generated by the system. Service now will automatically generate uh, this number for you. But you need to indicate the item, the configuration, the system that is going to be out. So, for example, uh, this is a free version, right? But if you're in a real uh, market, this is almost the same. You need to indicate the system that are going to be out. For example, we can search it using this magnifying glass. So, if you search it, for example, here, you can see, right? We have, for example, any IBM, Lenovo, uh, Asset, IBM. You can see the different type of uh, stuff that uh, we do have here, the configuration items that we do have here. For example, let's take, for example, David IBM. If we should select this. You can see now here that it's already stipulated, right? So, like, maybe the message here, let's just say... Uh, Let's just indicate that the system will be down for five hours. Now, it's very, very important that you indicate there are changes that might go for days, right? When I say for days, it doesn't mean that it can span, it can go for like two days three days is that if you if your uh, green zone is say from midnight right let's say 11 p.m uh to 1 a.m that's already a day you've already crossed a day so which means that you started your change let's say on the first and you ended on the second 
You need to capture that. But you need to stipulate that in hours. So if you see the breakdown that you have under an outage, it will tell you how many days are you doing this. For example, if you have hundreds and hundreds, millions and millions and millions of tables that have been existing in your system for the for a long time and you want to purge it, right? You want to clean up. You want to ensure that your system is functioning because the more data you keep, it also slows down your system, right? So how can you clean that? How can you push that? How can you ensure that your system is functioning as smooth as the way you want it to be? So you need to clean it. It might take hours. It might take days. So, and in that particular time, knowing that you'll be doing that, users or like your stakeholders or at times, both when we talk of stakeholders, we have internal and we have external stakeholders, right? Like, for, for example, internal stakeholders could be the employees, could be the HR, could be your managers, could be like the your, your testers. They want to test something in prod. They won't be able to because the system is down due to this outage that you guys are creating based on your porch. So you need to indicate that. For example, like we just mentioned here, system will be down for five hours. Then you need to state the beginning time. It's interesting. So you need to come here and you select the time and the date and the time. Let's take, for example, the fifth. Then let's go by military time. Say this will be from 1 a.m. Uh, oh, let's let's say uh, 21. 21 is 9 p.m. And then it's going to end. It's going to end on the sixth, which is, let's just say, 2 a.m. Then we select. So now, it's very, very important. The way ServiceNow kind of structure things is kind of cool. Okay? You either indicate the number of days, you indicate the number of hours, you indicate the number of minutes, and you indicate the number of seconds. So this is what uh, what these three GAP stands for. Your days, your hours, your minute, and then your seconds. For example, you might have an outage of 5 hours, 30 minutes, and 50 seconds. Or you might have an outage of 1 hour, uh, one hour 30 minutes. Or you might have an outage of 30 minutes, 25 seconds. You need to capture it here. For example, here, we'll be having an outage of 5 hours. Now, once we now indicate that this is what we are going to have, then we need to submit it. So, we have already submitted now our change. So, if you happen now to scroll down here at the bottom, you'll see that this change has an outage. So, each time um, you, you, you create an outage related to a change, you look at the bottom here, you see it. So, um, in our next tutorial, in our next video, uh, we'll be breaking down how, what, what are like some of the tasks, how they function, what they mean. So we'll try to break down this entire uh, service now so that we should bring some clarity, right? So anybody who comes in here, once he clicks under this, clicks under this outage, you'll we'll see that there's an outage that is indicated. And then you can check it out, see what is, what is, uh, what is, you know, what the outage stands for. And all those type of things you can see that it's already in here our once we click on the outage it opens on another page so it just opened on, a, on another page so it's already indicated here that we have one outage and it has a beginning and it has an end time the duration and all those type of cool stuff so it's very important that users are not going to have access to your system when uh, a deployment is ongoing it's always good that capture it using an outage once again thank you um you found this video helpful please give it a like uh subscribe to my channel i'll be bringing in more vibes or more info regarding service now so subscribe and hit the notification bell so that i don't miss any of my updates once again thank you stay safe until then see you
Thank you.